Hi, I'm Pete Sodney with Colorado Home Sales Inc. and welcome to our finished product here at 1631 South Chase Street. I've got Mike Benson Dick with me. Uh, this is his first fix and flip. Come check out our finished product. So previously we shot this video just a few days ago where we had the house pretty much done but without the staging. Uh, this kind of shows you how important staging is. Um, it's worth every penny of those couple thousand bucks that you're going to spend. If you are flipping homes, it's going to get you that extra, you know, 10, 20 grand over asking. Um, especially when you get into our sunroom. So if you guys remember, this was a hot tub room with a weird shower over in the corner. Um, we actually ended up just demoing everything out. Um, we ended up staging it as a game room. And with all the windows, you get a lot of really nice natural light over here. Mike? Tied in a little bit of a home office over on the other side. Such an important feature with today's remote working society. Uh, and put a nice sill in along the windows to tie in all of the, the drywall work that we had to do when we removed all of the wood paneling. So moving throughout the home. Here we are in the kitchen. Um, as you can see, we got all brand new cabinets. Uh, we did get wrap, uh, kind of the gray countertops. Uh, we went with uh, rubbed oil fixtures throughout. This kind of helps us tie in the maple floors and our stagers did a really good job with the art and the colors of the art uh, is tying in all the, uh, the wood and the white and grays. So as you can see, we're getting pictures here. So we're getting ready to sell this home. Uh, so we'll come around this way. One of my favorite pieces of this flip was actually our bathroom. We had a lot of fun with the loud tile. Uh, we were also able to salvage all of the retro tub, sink, and toilet. Uh, we did have to get a new toilet seat cover. I was not able to find teal at Home Depot, but uh, I think it came uh, together really nicely. And then coming through, I do try to stage a bedroom or two in this case because the bedrooms were small. We elected to stage two of them, not all three of them. I think it's gonna help with our resale. Um, as you can see, we shot knockdown texture throughout, ended up painting the room and instead of painting over the paneling. I think that was a good call, Mike. Thank you for doing that. No problem, sir. So this is our second stage bedroom. This is the only one that didn't wind up with a ceiling fan. Although we were able to open up some really nice natural light in here, that shower that was in the other room actually blocked a good portion of this window. So we've got a lot more daylight coming into this room than we originally did. And we were able to salvage all of the original closet doors. So you'll notice the mirrored doors in some of the bedrooms. And coming back around through here. Sorry, one more picture. <laughs> Here we got all of our carpet in. Um, we don't really stage our basement spaces. I didn't think that that was uh, necessary, especially since we ended up staging the additional room upstairs. Um, coming through here, you'll see our bathroom. We did get our glass kind of surround. Um, when we tiled the backsplash, instead of using the plastic insert, it actually really cleaned it up. Um, and it makes it look like a much higher end shower, even though it's just a corner insert piece. We pulled off some extra room for the larger medicine cabinet by not using the overhead vanity lights. So join us this weekend on Saturday. We'll be having an open house here. Uh, Mike will be announcing that here shortly. And we would love for you to come drop by our fix and flip. If you're interested in flips, um, please let us know. Uh, we are trying to inventory a lot of those. And if you could like our channel and uh, please subscribe, or sorry, subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Thank you.